I have three questions. Whew. Okay, I will get to your three questions here. Uh, number one, what are your thoughts on collecting fountain pens? I know there are a million types of collectors by brand, by models within brands, by filling mechanisms, and the list goes on. Um, I'll go ahead and read all three questions because they're pretty related. Number two, I've committed to one brand, Parker mostly, because in my country, it's easier to find a Parker fountain pen than any other brand combined. So my question is, do you think that committing to one brand is worth it, or am I missing out on some other great brands or models by doing so? And then number three is the Desert Island question. You can collect all models from only one brand, which one? Okay, so first thing, collecting fountain pens. Yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of people have brand loyalty, sure. Um, anytime you're talking about a collection, uh, a collection is always going to be worth more or probably be more valuable to you as the enthusiast, as the appreciator of the collection. Um, if you have kind of the full range. I know a lot of people collect like the full range of Lamy Safaris or All Stars and stuff like that. And, you know, that is obviously within a brand. It's, it's awesome to see someone who has all of them or like uh, Pilot Vanishing Points. I've seen some pictures of people who've collected every single one and that's incredibly impressive. So I don't think it's uncommon at all for people to be enthusiastic about one brand and want to collect everything. Uh, now I will say that collecting everything within an entire brand, man, that really gets expensive. <laughs> I think within models is probably more likely the case, um, you know, especially if you're talking about something that has a lot of colors to it, a lot of different things. Um, if you're talking about, you know, Parker, gosh, I don't even know how many models they have. And if you want to get into vintage stuff, holy cow, you can really get into a lot, which is, you know, cool if you're into that. So I would say that, you know, you're not necessarily missing out if you're sticking to one brand because it's really all about what you're enthusiastic about. If you're getting into fountain pens purely for the purpose of collecting and building a collection, you know, it's probably going to be more beneficial to you to stick to one brand or model that you're in particularly enthusiastic about and stick to collecting that because if you try and spread yourself too thin, you're going to go broke trying to collect too many different brands at once. Unless you have, you know, like you mentioned, a uh, filling mechanism, you could do that if you particularly like vacuum fillers or just any like a vintage like lever filler or something like that. Yeah, you can definitely collect across brands if you're really enthusiastic about one type of thing like that or if you're into flex nibs and you get all different kinds kinds of brands of flex nibs, you know, that's definitely one way to go about it. It really depends on what you're, what you want to do. Uh, and then you asked me, so the Desert Island question, if I can collect all models from only one brand, oh gosh, okay, so I'm going to assume modern because modern pens are what I'm really into. I'm not going to go vintage um, because, you know, that's, that's just covering too much uh, for me. So um, I got three brands that I would probably really consider as far as collecting goes, Platinum, Lamy, and Pilot or Miki. So Platinum has got a huge range, gorgeous collectibles. They've got you know everything from Platinum Preppies at a couple bucks all the way up to these high-end Yurushi Makiers, beautiful pieces of art and thousands of dollars. Um, I really like the Platinum stuff. So that I, I would definitely give some consideration. Lamy is much more affordable. It's much more attainable as a collection. Uh, it's got fun and vibrant colors. So you're looking at like the Safari and the All-Star pretty much. The Studios, you could also collect those because there's a lot of different colors that they've come out over the years. Uh, Lamy keeps on coming out with new stuff, fresh stuff, limited edition things. So there's always interesting stuff that you can go um, back and they've been around for a while. So you can go and get you know older stuff too if you want to build your whole collection. So that's kind of fun. Um, but for me, probably what I would do is Pilot or Namiki because um, you know I'm a big fan of their pens, great performers, really diversity, uh, a diverse range of styles and filling mechanisms. You know they've got cartridge converter, they've got um, uh, you know um, pistons, they've got vacuum. So there's a, a good range of different types of pens. For me, that kind of just keeps it fun and interesting. Lots of different nib styles and sizes, and they've got flex nibs, they've got you know all different kinds of things going on. So there's, there's a good variety of stuff that you can get into, lots of neat colors. They have all kinds of gorgeous limited editions. When you get into the Makie stuff and the Miki, you can get in some real beautiful pieces of art, or you can get into much more functional things like um, like the Pilot Metropolitan and, and stuff like that. So, um, you know, there's lots of, lots of stuff there. So that's probably what I would, I would seriously consider.